Double lunch is back. Yeah, double lunch. She's been here for 58 days. My name is Alex D'Amico. I am a certified transplant nurse in the transplant center of Houston Methodist in the medical center. We do hearts, the lungs, livers, pancreases, and kidneys here. But we also handle um, and work with patients who um, have had their uh, surgeries years ago or even months ago, and we handle complications that they frequently have. Oh, I hate this one. It hurts. Yes. Miss Baker in 25 um, is doing pretty well. Um, she had her peg tube clamped yesterday, so she's no longer on tube feeding. She was um, having a lot of complications at first because of an infection she got, and it was a pretty uh, serious infection that only was only responding to a couple of antibiotics. So she's receiving. She's been receiving those. Um, new antibiotics that have been helping her a lot, and she's been improving quite a bit. All right, ready? Yeah, here we go, big breath. How many names can I use to explain the love of my While the rest of the staff was working in the hallway, we suddenly heard this beautiful um, song. I, I actually didn't know who it was until someone pointed out that it was the patient. So it was evidence that she was actually improving quite a bit. Wow. Hey. Why y'all didn't tell me to get dressed up? <laughs> you <were there. laughs> Surprise. Miss Green um, is also lung transplant, and she started to have some respiratory distress. She asked me today why uh, they had lowered her um, anti-rejection drugs. And I told her, well, that's probably because they're trying to, to give her immune system a chance to rebound. The other patient I have is uh, Mr. Al Shabab in 405. He is a liver transplant patient um, from Saudi Arabia, and um, he had some complications with that surgery. Um, today, he was actually complaining of a lot of um, abdominal pain um, that he felt like was coming from his kidneys. Uh, the pain, the pain, I feel like uh, from, from my kidneys is almost as tin, okay. scale tin. All right, I'll get you something. My other patient is uh, Mr. Holman at 412. Hello, Mr. Holman. He is a heart transplant patient, and he was admitted for fatigue. Um, but after discussing um, his situation with him, we determined that he's not been taking his anti-rejection medicines. I decided to become a nurse because I felt like it was a calling. It's a very important part of my faith. Uh, my mom is also a nurse practitioner, so she also helped guide me in this direction after I had attempted another career in a different field and just hadn't worked out. When I was younger, I wanted to be an astronaut. <laughs> so, when did they say you might be able to get to go home? I was hoping today. That's a pact. Are you ready to go? Um, heart transplants and lung transplants can sometimes be um, in the hospital for six months to a year. Riding with you in the sunnier days. It's um, pretty incredible, you know, when we see the patients go home and when we celebrate them because for the longest time they feared that they wouldn't get better. It's really awesome to see how everyone just comes together. And it's very rewarding to be able to pour into those people's lives and help them recover. Taking the good with the ups and downs I want to see how the world turns round Let's go adventure in the deep blue sea Home is with you wherever that may be Home is with you wherever that may be